presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live training. YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, Change the agreement, create a new one, and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 223, NASDAQ's off 309, SPs are off 50, gold contract down $7.50, trading at 1921 an ounce. We have silver down 16 cents, 24 dollars 42 cents an ounce, light sweet crude off a of buck 59, 101.69, notes and bonds. 10-year note down one full point plus four ticks at 120.30. 30-year off two points plus eight at 146.20 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 492 ticks, trading 99.490. The euro is at 109. The yen is at 123.60. And the British pound is at 130 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So, the SPY out here, folks, bottom line, has already given up everything that came up yesterday. Uh, you can, I, I suspect tomorrow we're going to go after this uh, swing point of 449. Actually, let's go in the futures because this market, I know this market is sold off, no doubt. But it looks to me that this is not over as we come into the close. U.S. Okay, yes. Okay, so we're down 50 points. I'm going to do this intraday because we just broke a B point of a small ABC down. But I'm being conservative when I'm saying a small one because I'm just taking the last leg. Um, you got monster volume, man. Okay, now let's bring, bring this back. So when you're looking, if you happen to be watching my chart here, right, what you have to do is, you, you bring it back to, I just brought this back to six days, and you can see what happened. We just broke basically a consolidation. You're coming into the close of, the, uh, of Friday. That's where we had a little pop. Now, the top of that close, folks, is 45, 42. Well, guess what? We blew through that like nothing. With volume. So what does that set up? That sets up all the way down the end of this. It's 4508. And right now you're at 4528. And it's not too late to get there. The, you know, the hour just started. That's the, that's the bottom line. We go take a look at the NDX 100. First, we'll take a look at the Qs. You take a look at these Qs out here. You're going to see same type of setup. You got 46 million shares traded. Uh, bottom line, you, you went high yesterday with 45. We're going, to, we're going into this small bar from... Friday uh, with volume, uh, 358 is the number. And I suspect what, you're, what we're probably going to see in the Nasdaq is just going to jump the creek. You know, the Nasdaq uh, had a great run yesterday, a typical bear run going up 1.95%. Uh, and bottom line is that by the time we're done today, we are going to be down over 1.95%. Yeah, we're at, uh, well, there you go. We're at 2.15 right now on the way down. So... 
it's going to be a, a wild, well, it is a wild market, but it's going to get a lot more wild than I think most, most folks actually think here. Gold. Gold contract hasn't held price out here. Now, we have 136,000 contracts traded, which is like contract volume. That being said, however, guess what? The, when I say it hasn't held price, 1934 is the number. We're going into two separate places where gold has rejected lower price, and you know we'll see whether it's going to reject lower price at the lows. But the way this is trading right now, it's saying that it is going to go to the low that was established last week, which is that 19, no, 1893. That's what, that's what this is set up because you got into the bar of 1934. It's light volume, you're going into volume of 215,000, but the bottom line, once you get in, into it that far, that's saying, hey, it wants to go into that level. And we'll go to King Dollar and take a look at King Dollar, because it's all about King Dollar here. And King Dollar is basically either approach, well, it is approaching its highs. It might have just took it out. It did. Okay, so King Dollar, the last, the last high up here was 99.418. You're at 99.495. Now, this opens up a pretty heavy number inside King Dollar. Um, you know, it really, it really opens up that high that was established of uh, 103.80 going all the way back to uh, 2017, uh, April of 2017. That's how this is kind of set up. We'll see if it gives it up again. Every time it gets up to this level, it seems to give it up and give it up in spades. We go to the 10-year note. Let's take a look at the 10-year note because this baby just keeps going south, fast and furious. And what we have with the 10-year note right now Oh, let's see. Is it going to be an ABC down? Whoa, baby, this would be a beauty. It. Okay, so let's see. One point seven million or one point five. Well, we'll see whether they can get uh, two hundred thousand at the close. If we get two hundred thousand at the close, this is a monster, man. Because the, the A point on this is one twenty nine oh four. The B. Is uh, I'll call it 121. When I say 20, that's eight bucks. That's going to bring you down to uh, 117. And right now you're at uh, 120.31. So it's it's certainly a big number. Some of the higher oh TWTR. Let's go to Twitter. You got Elon Musk. You know, bottom line yesterday he turns around and uh, you know says it's a passive investment. This so this is how this shook out, folks. Elon Musk bought 10 percent of it. He filed a 13F saying that it was a passive investor. And then he actually went on Twitter and basically uh, started asking people, should they put an edit button, all that. But it's going to get really intriguing between him and the SEC again, okay? And then all of a sudden today, he's going to be on the board, and tomorrow the CEO is probably going to be gone. <laughs> That's my speculation, not tomorrow, but he's going to be gone. Uh, that being said... Uh, bottom line is that let's see what we take when we take a look at this on a longer basis. So we put this on a monthly. That's going to be interesting, man, because this did come back to uh, where it had a lot of support. It took off. It has volume on the takeoff for sure. Yeah, this can get up to like 68 bucks, and right now you're 51. It's Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. I'm in. Mr. Basil Chapman is going to be coming back. We're going to be riding that wave with Basil. Dow Industrials right now down 252. Nasdaq's off 325. S&Ps are off 54. Hold on for the ride, folks, because we're going south. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 248. We get the NASDAQ off uh, 327. S&Ps are off 53. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. As you're over to our website at TFNN, folks, you're going to see it right under Featured Content. You hit that button. You hit the opening call. You get the opening call for one month. For $149, you get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199, or 22%, and you can get it for a year for $1195, which is a savings of $593, or 33%. Now they all come, folks. You get you get them for a month. Get you know you can get them for a year. If you're happy in the month, great. You're gonna continue to get charged. If you're not for some reason, you get your money back. So it's a great value. Basil has approximately 11 webinars that are there already so you really understand how the market runs how the chapman wave runs great service basil chapman what's going on well 24 hours ago things were very different in the market boy i'll tell you and thanks for doing my program basil i really appreciate it man. It's my pleasure thank you for yeah. asking me yeah no i saw those numbers yesterday and then i was looking at the market today and says man this is going to be a trip just in general i mean i i figured it was going to be a a sideways to down market, but they're giving it to the market in a big way. There's no doubt, man. Yeah. Well, the, the market attempted this morning to rally, and then when the Fed, uh, one of the Fed uh, governors came yeah, out. Yeah, Esther and, uh, Judge. Made a right. Yeah. yeah, and that, and that, I think, well, let me just show you something quickly because this is all the stuff that I'll be talking about in my webinar coming up a week from yes. Wednesday. And so I have a chart that I show subscribers for decades, I've been showing. Um, this is, I call it my triple yield weekly chart. This is on the left. This is the, the white is the, the 10, sorry. This is the 30 year TYX, 30 year T bond yield. This is the white one. The brown one is the TNX, which is the 10 year T note yield. And the cyan light blue one is the five year FVX, five year T note yield. And look, the right. five, is above the 30 and the 10. Oh yeah. I went back to try to find that when we when we made the top back in the, uh, November of 2018 before the Fed started talking about higher rates. Uh, look what happened. Uh, we didn't get a crossover like that. We didn't get that. And when I go back to even the uh, 2000 and the financial disaster of 2007, 8, and 9. 
look, on June the 7th, uh, June of 2007, we didn't have, they were very close, but we didn't get that overlap. Yes, the cyan went above the, that's the five year went over the 10, but not over the 30. So this is something that I don't recall seeing for a very, very long time. So I have to take it seriously in the sense that it has market repercussions. That's number one. And uh, number two is if you look at this right side chart, this is the wood, the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF stuck in a rectangle formation. I'm going to be talking about the rectangle formation, the narrow, long rectangle formation. What happens when it goes uh, at, at a high, there's this uh, horizontal uh, channel. And if it breaks to the upside and then comes back down, then breaks the downside, what does it do? Well, this is stuck in the middle. So, so far, that's saying internationally, the timber and forestry ETF is still doing well. But look what happened to the HGX, which is the Philadelphia Housing Index, in this long channel, and it broke to the downside, and it couldn't break the upside. So that's all part of, of what I'm going to be discussing, and it, these are all relevant to what we're looking at in the market. So let me just go through some of the things I heard you talking about. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it in, in my own Chapman Wave methodology. This is what we'll be discussing in my webinar. So I talk about rectangle formations can last a lot longer than your patience. Yes. So there's, there's a very wide rectangle, and then there's a narrow rectangle. This is kind of a mix. This is the dollar. And uh, subscribers have been along the dollar since April of 2018. We watched it go all the way from about 90. It went all the way to about 103, pulls back, and now it's still holding very well. And this, to me, has been kind of an icon of the American economy internationally, where funds have gone into the currency that they thought had the, the most... Uh, um, vigor and so far that's the dollar but I talk about it in saying that a channel can look very deceiving because as it goes to the top of the channel you think oh now it's going to break out and then it suddenly turns around and goes to the bottom and we've had these double bottoms and double tops I was there oh there's another one I want to show just we as have I'm saying, yeah I'm talking about I'm talking about what I'll be discussing in, in my webinar because here is going to be very important. The dollar is at 99.47. Yep. And uh, the last high was ninety nine forty two. So even though it's broken it by five cents, it has broken the previous high. Will this be a change in the scenario that all of a sudden it does break to the upside? Or does it do like, let me show you another channel that uh, went sideways for a long time. This is the Russell 2000. It went sideways between, look at this, this is the weekly chart, between 234 and 207. For months, it went sideways. Then it finally broke out and went to peak D, that fourth highest peak I always talk about, to 244, 46. And then it went right through the base of the, yeah. uh, the channel to the bottom. So these channels, the, the, the wide Basil, channel. That, that one you just did, is well, was that a daily or a weekly or a monthly? This is a weekly chart weekly, of cool. the IWM, okay. the Russell 2000. Okay, cool, cool. So, so I'm sure, let, let's yes. talk about also. So the, the webinar is going to be October 13th, right? Yes. From 4 to 5.30, right? Yes. And it's very and, easy to get in this, folks, okay? The bottom line, just come over to our website. Uh, the open call is right on the front page of the future content. You hit that. If you're a subscriber, you're going to get a great newsletter and you're going to get a great webinar. Okay, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I just want people to understand how no, quick they can get into good. that. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So I, I'm trying to uh, you help me articulate what I'll be showing. So a pattern that I've been looking at is just this is one of the many, many patterns. Uh, you had been speaking about gold. So I, I spoke about this rectangle formation. If it's a wide rectangle formation, then there's the pattern that I always talk about is that from the bottom, if this starts to make higher highs and higher lows after a big spiral to an up move, it's like a flagpole and it comes down the flagpole. Then the rule of thumb that I have is that the price can go to just under, right on, or just above the previous high. Well, this is the GDX, and the high of the 8th of March was 40.26. It falls sharply down to 35.67, starts this move within the rectangle that I've been talking about, and lo and behold, today it goes to leg D, and what is the price? 39.88. It is less than 30 cents away from the previous high. So, and it's in leg D. D is where we're always looking to see right. what's going to happen next. So, it doesn't mean to say it has to crash or anything. It just says yeah, right no. here is some vulnerability within the rectangle formation. So, the GDS can remain 
digesting these huge gains that it's had for months, uh, just going sideways. So I just wanted to explain how we can look at it. And here's another thing that's fascinating. Look at the lows. 28.83 was the low the week of the 1st of October in the GDX. It runs up to the 34 and a half area, comes back down to what? 28.87, four cents higher. And then it starts to move to the, to this double top. So it's very interesting. This is a double bottom. It's the same principle. So these are the techniques I'm going to be showing. And um, it applies to all the, all the charts that we're looking at. We've been raising cash. We raised a little more cash over the last two days. And folks, um, it's, it's very easy to get the opening call. Plus, you'll be in the workshop. Just come over to our website at TFNN, go into featured content, hit that button, and you are riding that wave. Thanks, Basil. Have a Thank great you, one. Tom Look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 249. You get the NASDAQ off 330. NASDAQ is accelerating down the, on the way down. And you get the S&Ps off 55. Let's go to our man, Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. Boy, they're still talking about Oscars night from a couple weeks ago. Wow. I, I haven't seen a slap like that since Mo gave it to Shemp in Three Little Pigs, 1934, an episode of The Three Stooges. I'd love, you know what? Every day I couldn't wait to watch The Three Stooges. If you don't, so folks, when The Three Stooges are on, we're going back, uh, there's no doubt. And I think I'm older than you, uh, Jose, but I remember, so pitch this, I used to have to sit in front of the TV and the clock would be going, 
and the American flag would be up, and then seven o'clock in the morning, the Three Stooges would start. Maybe six, whatever. It's the bottom line is that yeah, I love those guys. <laughs> yeah, Shemp, Shemp is a he's a card. Yeah. Um, um, hey, uh, this Zelensky and Pooty Putin, they need to have a sit down like the Bonanos and the Columbos. Yeah, Putin's not going to sit with anyone. They, you know. No, he's not. No, he's yeah. not. Hey, Tom, on this, uh, I thought, I, I, when I got filled with my Newmont this morning, my call options, in the twinkling of an eye, they filled me. That should have been the warning sign, look out. Now, obviously, they're pulling back with the broader market. Is that what's going to happen? How low is low for Newmont? This is kind of tough to tell. I mean, Newmont is in a large ABC structure up. It took out the B point on a monthly. It took it out with volume. You know, it has a lot of juice, there's no doubt. And we're talking about it's down a buck and a half right now, trading 79. And yeah, you might take some heat here, man. Um, I don't think. What, what month do you have the strike on? Um, I'm out to July. Yeah, you're, you're going to be in good shape, man. This is, this is, when you put this on, this is a powerful ABC. I mean, uh, yeah, when you see this, I mean, look at that volume. You don't see many that fail. Well, I don't even want to say it, but it, you, when you get volume like this that takes out swings, you're going higher, man. Um, you know, but, but we are going to pull back with the market or this gold. Uh, it's it, not it, necessarily it's pull back with the market. market. It, it's, it's that doll that took off like a rocket ship again. I mean... When Basil oh and I were just talking about the dollar, you can see, you know, it's right up. It, it actually just took out the last two highs. So you can expect that you're going to see more juice in the dollar. But let me go over to the yen because the yen affects gold like in a monster way. And the cool thing, folks, is this with the yen, that the Bank of Japan, now we're at 123. The Bank of Japan came out when they had this wicked spike all the way up to 125 and they told the world they are not letting that yen go past 130. So I know that's a lot more than 125 where it was, but it's the essence of what they said that, guess what? They cannot have, uh, they're not looking for that yen to get that weak. That's the bottom line. So we'll see how that shakes out tonight. But. Um, um, one of the ex-Fed officials, Brainheart is her name, she agrees with you. Uh, recession this summer, inflation out of control and going higher, and uh, she's worried. But I'm going to the beach. Keep an eye on things, Tom. I'll keep an eye on for you, Jose. Have a great one and have a safe one, Thank man. You. You're going to love it. There's no doubt. Let's go to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you, Tommy? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm delay on the uh, broadcast here. Wait a minute. I got you. Yeah, doing good. I uh, got you. That, Frank's here, get my shots on. All right, I like that, man. That's a beautiful <laughs> thing. Yeah. So, hey, yeah, tell I me about this stock. So, it's BioNTech? Yes. And, uh, you know, I don't usually do BioNTech. Yeah. Uh, I just I just think they're crazy. But I get into this one, I've got a little profit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you're talking about the market tanking, but this thing looks awful strong to me. So let's take a look at it. So the low for the year is 110. The high is 644. Well, look at this. What's this, this revenue, folks? This gets interesting because the revenue, you know, last year was $19 billion. This year, $16 billion. Next year, $10 billion. What is intriguing, I, I, I read, like, what they're doing, okay? And yeah. what happens, folks, is that in oncology, meaning cancer oncology, okay, that's what they call it, um, there's a huge amount that is happening. And, you know, this is the same type of mRNA technology that they think is going to be, be able to actually get put in bodies and go after individual cells instead of chemoing your whole self up in a big way and firing it up. Yeah. So, you know, technically, Frank, I'd stay right there, man. I think this is, yeah. I'm so glad you called, man. I'm gonna look at this stock because I didn't have enough, I had enough time to read what they're doing. And I know that the mRNA technology is probably some of the best technology that we've had in a long time that can go after the tops of cancer cells. Like, well, I cancer see, cells I are in the top of your cells, folks. That's what ends up happening, okay? And this is an ABC up, man. <laughs> you know, yeah, last week yeah, it took the B point out. That. Yeah, so yeah, 179 is your B, 120, oh, it's a beauty, man. 50, yeah. 50, 
Yeah, I got a target of 218. Yeah, you, yeah, it is. Yeah. And that, listen, that, that won't be hard because, and I might even get to 252. See that, see that high volume low right there? That, that's kind of yeah. ice. Yeah. So it can go there. Yeah, I would stay right there, man. And I think, uh, you know, it, the little that I just read just then, te so technically it's set up in the ABC. The little I just read there, this type of technology, we are going to see this in the oncology market, and it's a big deal. It's a huge deal, man. So if, if, if they can target well, individual cells versus target in your whole body uh people are going to live longer people aren't you know the cell structure doesn't get as bad i mean there's a, there's a huge amount of pros in that man so pretty cool right. well let's try and defy the market uh, and, and listen man what you just said is so cool it's not a divide them defying the market what you said the first time is that you can see that stock wants to go up and this market wants to go down you know and yeah. you know it's yeah. intriguing, you know, if we just if I go to a different subject for a second, but it has to do with the market. Is that Frank? I don't think people are taking the Fed going up, interest rate wise, and bringing the balance sheet down. I don't think people are taking it serious enough, man. <laughs> it's like well, you and I have been around. It's like folks, rates are going up, 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 and. If you think yeah. that they're going to stop, they're not going to stop because inflation is outrageous, man. I mean, this is... Well, I know it. I, I read around a lot out there, and, you know, there are people out there trying to say that uh, when interest rates go up, the, the market goes up. Yeah, and I heard that, too. It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, and what, you, what we have out here, this is what we also have. There is... You gotta remember, the financial business is like a, a young person's business. Some of these people, they're very bright. They come out of great schools. They can be in it at 22, 23, and they're out of it by 40. Well, guess what? Anyone that's 40 or less hasn't even seen an interest rate structure go up. You yeah, know? Yeah. So Boy, it's, a, it's I, a different I ball can game. Remember in the, I can remember in the 70s, we were fooling around with uh, money market funds at 15 percent i know and you know, i'm laughing about it in the office i know incredible it, it is incredible <laughs> there's no doubt okay brother you have a great one a safe one thanks sir thanks man bye-bye stay right there folks we'll come right back we have the dow industrials right now down 288 nasdaq's off 342 s and p's are off 60 we'll come right back folks Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 290. You get the NASDAQ off 339. SPs are off 60. So let's go take a look inside the NDX 100 first and see the strength versus the weakness out here. You get uh, Vertec, uh, that's up 1%. ADP is up by 1%. I'm going to go back and look at that one. Uh, take it away from it. Uh, you got uh, that Datadog is down 6%. You got Lamb Research off 6%. Moderna is off 6%. And Marvell Technologies is off 6%. So let's, I'm going to go back to ADP for a second. Okay, so ADP, this is, of course, the lows for the year is 184. The highs 248. This is all about data. All, well, it's all about jobs, really. I see. This is just going up with no volume. Interesting. Put this on a weekly. Because this will kind of give you a good indication also of... Uh, so you had a player come in it three weeks ago. You're going up to the highs. You got a contraction of volume. Yeah, this will probably... We could get to the high, 248. There's no doubt about that, but there's nothing. To, to me, I wouldn't be buying this. I, I was really looking at that. I was looking at that more so to see what's going on with the, the broader picture. Uh, that's the bottom line, because when you, when you take a look at that, that broader picture, um, you know, it, it kind of gives you an understanding of where we are. Now, as you come over to our website, folks, at TFNN, yeah, of course, Basil's going to be doing his workshop. That workshop is going to be the April 13th. But we have a great trading room up and going. We've had a trading room for a long, well, for years, 20 years probably. Uh, this room here, uh, we use Discord to do it. It's a phenomenal trading room. We have all the tigers and tigresses. You're going to see tigers and tigresses that you've heard on the radio and haven't seen. Um, and it's, it's just a great community. And it's only a dollar a year, folks, okay? So if you want some great ideas, you want some understanding going back and forth, great camaraderie between tigers and tigresses, Come over to our website at TFNN, hit the Tiger Trading Room. It's only a dollar for the whole year. You'll be happy you did. It's, 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 it's very active from 7 o'clock in the morning, folks, um, basically to 4 in the afternoon. You know, when the, and then, it's, then it, start, it starts up again at 7 and 8, but it's, it's not huge then. But at 7 o'clock in the morning on, guess what? You want to understand where the markets were overnight? You want to understand what people are looking at? Really cool, man. Really cool. Some of the high volume equities uh, out here today. And this will be, well, no, actually, I want to see what this will be first. Because I believe, we, because we got up higher, yes, with 604 right now, we did 958 yesterday. And then the composite, the composite right now is at 3.8. And see what's going to happen here. This is, when we, when we use a time in the trade model, no, look at that. No, it didn't. It didn't go high. The, see, the composite never went high yesterday. Interesting. So the composite is going after this uh, swing area from Friday. Right now, that that area is uh, fourteen one thirty one. We're at fourteen one ninety four. You know, so you, you're going to see some. Uh, you're going to see some destruction. Window dressing is over. You know, earnings are out there. But guess what? Um, they're going to have some have to have some heavy earnings, man, in order to basically convince people that the inflation is not going to grab them. And that, you know, 
we're not going to be pulling back on growth. Some of the higher volume equities, look at this. Okay, so if you're watching Tiger TV, this is very unusual, folks. Normally, you, there's not one red, uh, not one green equity in the top 30 equities that are trading. You know what that means, folks? They're selling everything. I mean, they're selling everything. You get Nvidia down 14 bucks, Apple's down 385, um, SoFi's off 65 cents. You get JetBlue off a buck, Tesla's off 55 bucks, Starbucks off three dollars 80 cents. You got uh, Qualcomm off eight dollars and 24 cents. United's off 84 cents. Yeah, big big numbers. Let's go see what the oil patch is doing. We'll bring up uh, Exxon Mobil. Take a look at it. Okay, so. Even Exxon wants to go wants to get a lower end of its consolidation. Look at that. So Exxon just Exxon just came into its swing area today. The swing area we're talking about is 85. It hit 85.07. You're coming into 22 million shares. You only have 17. So what we have with Exxon there, it couldn't get higher. Guess what? It's going to try to get to the lower end of the consolidation that it's in. That lower end is 79 dollars right now. You're at 82. If we go over right to the oil market itself, we take a look at the oil market. Oil market is down 285. We are dealing Okay, so it's the same setup, man. Interesting. Yeah, this couldn't hold price today. You can see I see how light that volume is in the oil market today. 20 uh, 253,000 contracts. You're going into 450. So that's saying that oil is going to basically go back down to 92, and we'll see how it shakes out at that particular point. But that's that's how that's set up. This is we're going to have some uh, we're going to have some fireworks here. Uh, it just re it really matters that okay, well, the essence of kind of will not kind of where, where we are, and why someone would basically buy in this market at this particular point. You know, there's no doubt you had uh, the sunshine boy, uh, Elon, come into Twitter. There's no doubt about that. But, the, you know, the, the thing with Twitter, if you, you know, Twitter did come into lows, man. It's, it's almost like, you know, this guy was, you know, technically kind of looking at it, too, because when you look at Twitter, you can see what it did. OK, so it came back to its consolidation. Now, wa see what it did. Watch what it did here. So the consolidation had volume of uh, the bottom 586 million well four months ago it came back with 357 then it had 400 and it was still going into 700 558 so bottom line he has something there man I mean the real question is is that will it take down with the broad market also and I suspect you know after a couple more days it will um, I wouldn't be shot in Twitter, though. That's the real bottom line. I would not be shot in Twitter, you know. Uh, let me just see what the shot position is right now. So the shot position was 5.7%. There's some hurting out there with that being 5.7%. There's no doubt about it. That's, that's a big number, man. That is to totally a big number. Let's go take a look at Amazon, one of the big king dogs out there, because Amazon's been in this consolidation also. So Amazon right now is trading down 95 bucks. That looks like it's going to also basically try to get back in its lower range. Now, Amazon's lower range starts at 3,276. Right now, you're six dollars into it. We're at 3,270. You know, so you get one more day like this, and guess what? It will set up again. You know, uh, 2,600 Amazon, which is um, you know th this <laughs> these moves, man. Look at Amazon just went from 2,671. Coming off the bottom on the 8th of March, going up to 3,400. You're talking about monster, just monster moves, man. And I don't think those moves are going to stop. The difference is that the counter trend bounce was amazing, no doubt. And guess what? It's over. So protect yourself, folks. Bottom line, you know, hey, remember something. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What am I doing right now? In the stock market, whatever you bought a stock for, that was yesterday. You don't know what the price is tomorrow. When you're marking your portfolio, where it's at right now is what you can get for it. The first ones out get the most.
because as it keeps going down, guess what? It's harder to get out. Stay right there, we'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down at 297. NASDAQ's off 326. S&Ps are off 59. Let's go just inside the Dow and see uh, what we have Red versus green out here. So we have inside the Dow right now. You have putting green into it. You got United Health putting uh, 42 points. Big Mac 10. Johnson Johnson 7. Taken away from it. Salesforce minus 59. You get Boeing minus 55. Caterpillar minus 32. And Goldman minus 28. Microsoft is next coming up the rear minus 27. MSFT. Let's just go take a look at Microsoft for a second. Okay, so this will be interesting. So let's see what we did the whole way. Okay, so Microsoft did that. It didn't do a 0.618 retracement, just over a 50% retracement. So that puts Microsoft, Microsoft's game for the bottom too. These are, you can see this, if you're watching Tiger TV, these are all high volume lows, man, at the bottom. So Microsoft 270's game, right now you're at 311. And guess what, we were just there, we ran all the way up and you know, Today, you don't have volume on it, meaning coming out, but if you get volume coming out of this, you know, when it's going after the lows of Friday, which I expect we're going to go after tomorrow, game is, here we go. J.P. Morgan, let's go take a look at the quick banks because uh, we were looking at those last week, and even with the inverted yield cold curled rate, rates going up, banks are getting smoked. Yeah, J.P. Morgan's going south. It's uh, down a buck 66 right now. 
put this on a weekly. Yeah, man, this is this is trouble. That J.P. Morgan. This could be a big ABC down. If it is, it's going to be one fifty nine. So you got a well, thirty three. Would you get it one ten? Where's one ten? This thing going to one ten, man. There's a gap that's open at one oh five. That's the next leg down. This is serious business, folks. The banks, if the banks are going down at these levels, guess what? You better take this thing seriously. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow. It kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Don't forget about our Tiger's Den trading room. It's only a dollar for a year. Be out here growling and proud about all the tigers and tigresses getting some great ideas. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.